Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For my toy collection showcase, I will be showing the BT21 World Tour Compacts. This is what they look like. They're little suitcases filled with tiny worlds. For those of you who are BTS fans, you already recognize this. And yes, these are a line of toys based on BTS, the popular K-pop group. I am a BTS fan, actually. I became a fan of them about a year ago. I'm actually a second generation K-pop fan. I love 21, Girls' Generation, Big Bang. Then once 21 broke up, I kind of lost interest in the whole K-pop scene. Then BTS blew up and now I'm into K-pop again. It always starts with just wanting to know their names and look up some info about them and why they're famous all over the world. Then suddenly you're standing 10 plus K-pop groups. Anyway, this is a collaboration between BTS and Line Friends, which are cute little characters. I did a bit of research on this and BTS actually helped design the characters themselves, which is extra special because they participated in the design of these toys. I have all seven of them, which represent the seven members of BTS. So let's take a look. Here is our first BT21 World Tour compact. We are in the good old USA. I actually just finished binge watching all of the BTS episodes where they create these characters. It was hilarious. I highly recommend you guys watch it. It's all on YouTube. Firstly, the name BT21 was also inspired by BTS. They wanted to combine BTS and 21st century, so the team came up with BT21. Let's talk about the packaging because I'm a designer and I love packaging. First, we see this clear window where we can see the rest of the compact. We know exactly what we're getting here. We see the characters, the scenery. I also love how everything is packaged nicely in there. No loose pieces, but at the same time, it's minimal so that the entire focus is on the compact. Korean design is a huge shift from Japanese design because Japanese packaging design tends to be very loud with lots of design elements, lots of text. But here we see a huge shift. So as I turn this box, you can see how fairly minimal it is, very little words. So that's one of the first things I notice here. They focus a lot on visuals, lots of images. The only words I see so far is World Tour USA and BT21. Of course, on the bottom, they have to put all this legal stuff, but I don't really count this in packaging design because by law, you have to have these. The biggest advantage here is working with a big brand like BTS. You don't really have to explain much, especially if you've watched all the episodes like I just did, then you know exactly what this is about. On the back, we see another window. This is the outer portion of the compact. As we can see, it looks like a suitcase and it has a whole travel theme. These are all of the characters that BTS themselves designed. When I first heard that they had designed these characters, I kind of thought that maybe they were just loosely involved, but based on all of the episodes I just watched, they were heavily, heavily involved from the very beginning. They basically sat down, started sketching, and with the help of professional artists, these characters came to life. We actually see eight characters here. Seven of the characters, of course, represent the seven members of BTS, and this character here represents ARMY, which is the name of the fan base of BTS. First over here, we have Tata, who is V's personal character. When I first saw him, I thought he was a heart, but he's actually supposed to be an alien. After watching the episodes and learning more about Tata, he's actually my favorite because he's extremely unique and he can transform into anything he wants. I think it's such a unique concept that came from V's mind. Then we have Mong, who is J-Hope's character. He is supposed to be a character with a horse mask and we don't know what's under there. We don't know if it's a person. He kind of left it up for interpretation. This was a pretty hilarious process to watch because J-Hope isn't an artist, so to speak. I remember him drawing a very crude looking horse. Everyone was making fun of him. And it turned out to be one of the cutest characters. Then we have Jungkook's character, which is Cookie. I feel like his character 100% represents him. ARMY calls him Cookie. He is also called Bunny because of his smile. And in the episode, he even drew a muscular bunny because he's known to be very sporty, muscular. So this character definitely represents him. Then we have Suga's little character, which is Shuki. They kind of go hand in hand. He is supposed to be a little chocolate chip cookie. 
that Cookie also eats. The stories get pretty ridiculous. I recommend you guys watch the episodes to get a better understanding of these characters. Then we have Chimmy, who is Jimin's character. He kind of looks like Pachanko. Jimmy is also one of Jimin's many nicknames. One of the most fascinating things about watching the episode is watching how these characters develop and also seeing how a professional artist can take a concept and make it into real characters, something that can be put on merchandise, something that can be branded and marketed. All of that really fascinates me. I remember Jimin's character starting out as a really big chubby face with very small features, which he says resembles his own face. And the professional artist put a little hoodie over him and this character was born and I thought it was super cute and I love seeing this character come to life. Sometimes the simplest changes make the best things. This is a koala named Koya who is RM's character. He's supposed to be a sleepy koala. There are drawings with him holding a pillow and this one reminds me of Gudetama because they're both really sleepy. But I wonder if this one is sleepy and Gudetama is lazy? Then we have RJ who is Jin's character. For some reason the rest of the group loves to roast Jin on anything that he does. I think it's absolutely hilarious and Jin has a very good sense of humor. He made this alpaca because he's been subconsciously drawing it for the past two years and now it's finally here, it has come to life. They were roasting him so hard for this character and for naming him RJ. I think he's actually super super cute. I love how he's tall. Then we have this giant character back here whose name is Van. This character represents ARMY according to the BTS wiki and one half of him is supposed to be interchangeable with different designs, different patterns. And there you have it, a quick overview of their characters, how they came up with it, what's the story behind it. As a product designer, I loved watching those episodes because I really like seeing people's thought process behind things. On this side, we have the other sets. We have Korea, UK, Brazil. And on this side, we have France, Japan, and China. I do have all of them and we are going to go through every single one of them. These are one of those toys that I want to keep in the box, but I have to take it out. This is one of the best compacts I have ever held in my hand, and I'm really not just saying that because I love BTS, but just look at this, look at all the details. It's a suitcase with wheels. Look at the details on these. The wheels don't really spin, but it doesn't matter because they didn't have to add these, but they did and it looks so cute. It's also got a very gender neutral design. Anyone can have this. This will fit anyone's aesthetic. Taking a closer look, we see the BT21 logo. We also see an etching of all the characters all around this compact. Then we have some suitcase details. On the back, we see those characters again. We see the manufacturing information. These are from 2019 and this has got really good weight to it. I love things that have a little bit of weight. This is the inside of the compact when it's completely empty. We saw some accessories earlier. I'll go over those in a minute, but you do have to remove them and lay them down flat in order for the compact to close. That is one of the downsides of this, but at least everything still fits. You just have to remove them from these little stands. Let's go through the details. We are in the USA and I believe we are in Los Angeles. We see the LA sign right there. Here's a Route 66 sign. These also look like Hollywood Hills, but instead of Hollywood, it says BT21. And in the background, we see Van. Van is supposed to be a giant, so he's peeking over BT21 hills. Some beautiful artistry in the background. Very simple, it's just a sky with clouds, but they did some shading, some gradient. It looks like a painting. I'm actually gonna put the accessories on before I go over the bottom. So here are the palm trees. We have four of them and I'm just gonna start placing them here. They fit pretty nicely in there. I don't have to struggle too much. We also get these and they seem to be light posts. And here is the final scene. It looks really pretty, especially from this angle. It really looks like you're on the road and you're looking at Hollywood Hills. Of course, it wouldn't be LA without its signature palm trees. This is a road with some chalk drawings. It looks like these are the drawings done by BTS when they were sketching. I could be wrong, but it definitely looks like part of their sketch brainstorm session. Now onto the characters. First up, we have Tata, who is V's character. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic at all. It also reminds me of some of the characters on the Japanese compacts that I showcased. Something about Korean and Japanese designs are just so cute, so well executed. 
I love them. Then we have Jin's character, RJ, the alpaca. I love his expression. I love how it looks like he's dabbing a little bit. And finally, we have Mong, who is J-Hope's character, who also looks like he's dabbing. I really love how this character turned out. This one was definitely challenging. The characters also have those little pegs on their feet because they go right in there. And this is how it's presented in the packaging. It looks so cute. They're all dancing. It looks very lively. They're having so much fun and it definitely represents BTS. It goes without saying, but I do have to point out that this isn't intended to be a toy. It's definitely intended to be a collector's item, more specifically for ARMY, who is BTS's fanbase. It really feels like a work of art. It doesn't feel like a toy at all. It also feels and looks very, very high quality. One caveat is the compact doesn't go past 90 degrees, so we are locked here. You also can't move the characters around in the compact because they have pegs, which you have to insert in the little divots. You can change them up, but they're pretty much stuck here. And another caveat is you can't close the compact unless you remove all of these elements and lay them flat inside. But other than that, this is absolutely beautiful and this is only the first one that I've opened. This might be my very first set that I actually display open. Currently, I have all of my compacts closed, but these are meant to be opened. They deserve to be open because the scenery here is just so beautiful. Up next, we are going to China. I love how each of the boxes is a different color. I just love variety because I'm a collector, so the more different pieces I have, the better. The packaging is pretty much the same, the only difference being they're advertising different countries on this side. The back here is just so gorgeous. There are different ways to display this. The way I currently display them is I have them in boxes and they're laid out like this, this part facing outward. I just really love the characters and I wanted them to be facing outward. Or you can display them in the box this way so you can see the compact. And of course, you can take it out of the box and display it this way too. There are so many ways to display this and they stack very nicely. Holy crap, this is beautiful. Pardon my mild language, but this is beautiful. It's very representative of China. It has the dragon, the red and gold aesthetics, the lanterns, the fireworks. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of that scene in Mulan where they finally respect her as a warrior. I'm actually going to go backwards this time so I don't have to deconstruct this compact. I'm going to go over the inside, then the outside. Here we have three of the BTS characters. We see Chimmy over here underneath the dragon. Then we see Koya sleeping on the dragon. And we see Mong just vibing just doing him. I just love this bridge that's right over this river. It's so simple but very beautiful. It has gorgeous textures, the detailing. It just looks really nice. This is a great example of very simple designs but it looks expensive. It looks high class. There's definitely artistry here and I know that these are made in a factory but they are really precise. They executed this so well. I don't see anything misaligned. I don't see any cheap glue and the artwork here absolutely gorgeous the detailing on this temple and it actually looks like it's made of gold that is incredible they really didn't have to go this far but they did we also see some gold shine on that sign someone in the comments please tell me what this says we see the rest of the characters back here it's extremely detailed right down to the personalities of each of the characters here we see shuki riding the lantern instead of hanging on to it because he's so tiny great attention to detail really this is a work of art i promise i'm not just saying that because i'm a huge bts fan i just really love this from an artist's point of view it's just so gorgeous and one of the best compacts I've ever owned. Now I'm going to deconstruct it. I'm just going to remove this dragon here. One evidence that this is definitely for collectors instead of just being any other toy is the fact that there are pegs. So they really want you to put these characters where they belong. We can also remove Koya from the dragon. There we go. There's two pegs there. They are just so cute. I love this one especially. Little Chimmy. And here is Mong. We can also remove the sign and this post. So here it is, empty and still beautiful. Even though you can only hold this at 90 degrees, the hinge is really stable. There's a lot of resistance here. I guess you can do it at this angle, but you can't really see much. It's got a really nice snap to it when it closes. It almost feels like it's magnetic, but it's not. 
satisfying. I love this shade of red. This is coming from someone who's a fan of pink. I don't really like red. I don't wear red. I think it's a very aggressive color and it scares me, but this is absolutely beautiful. I would wear this as lipstick. We can see the characters in greater detail. The wheels, they just add extra style to this. And again, with a gender neutral design. I absolutely love it. It really touches on BTS's mission of inclusivity. Up next, we are going to Brazil. They definitely captured Brazil with the color scheme of this box. It's very bright, very festive. I can already tell I'm gonna love this. I am absolutely speechless. I looked at this for a good while before I even began saying anything on camera. I've looked at this for five hours now. Look at the party in there. It's so festive, beautiful, lots of confetti. You can actually hear the crowds. It's like you're actually there without being there. Firstly, we need to talk about Tata's outfit. V did mention that his outfit and form are interchangeable, and this is very representative of that. Look at these feathers. He looks like a queen. I love it. Then we have these clear pieces, which are supposed to be lights or fire. I love them. They look so awesome. They look like they light up, although I don't think they do. Then we have Cookie and Mong playing the drums. Mong seems to be in every compact so far. He's very popular. Cookie looks so angry, but happy, kind of like a Gretzigo. Back here, we see the BT21 logo. Their branding is absolutely on point. This gold figure is so beautiful. Then we have Van back there, who is the ultimate goddess. We see the other characters on the side panel here. These are the family members of the main characters, and they are also designed by BTS. This is in fact a giant float because we are in a parade. Down here we see all the confetti. It's definitely a party up in here. Now to deconstruct it, let's see what comes off. The characters obviously come off. I just love him. Look at this outfit. It's so gorgeous. And his pose, the way he's dancing, his expression, so cute. V was right when he decided to make this character weird. That's pretty much it. The rest of it stays in the compact and it actually closes pretty perfectly. Again, another beautiful shade. This is a very rich yellow. It's very warm, very vibrant. It's not neon or anything super tacky. Sometimes yellow tends to be a little sickening. It depends on the shade of yellow. And this one, it's perfect. Our fourth one is Japan. Oh, I already love this one. I have said that about every single compact, but I can't help it. Each one just gets better and better. Tell me you're not hit with nostalgia and calmness just now. Something about Japanese architecture just makes me so calm. Maybe it's the minimalism, the simplicity. It's just so beautiful. We are in a Japanese home. On the inside, we see three of the characters. Here's Koya, sleeping as usual. Here's RJ sipping some tea. And here's Cookie, probably being mischievous. Delicious food. Japanese food is my favorite food of all time. This looks like ramen, seafood. We have a bed over here, and we have an old school telephone that is so cute. The floor. I have to bring attention to the bamboo floors. There's actual patterns, and it really looks like bamboo. I mean, they spared no detail here. Then over here, we see the signature Japanese style sliding screen doors. We have some cherry blossoms here. I love how rich this black looks. Sometimes black colors come out a little too washy. And this one is really dark, it's very rich. The artwork, of course, is absolutely gorgeous. A masterpiece. They are in a hot spring. Here we see Shuki, Mong, Tata, and Jimmy. We see some cherry blossom trees and Mount Fuji right in the background. We also have some manga over here. I'm gonna zoom in real close so we can all see what good detail looks like. Look at the individual manga panels. This is really tiny, so for them to get that good of a quality, especially when you're printing something, this is really remarkable. Can we apply this to modern Polly Pockets? Speaking of manga, I totally forgot that Attack of Titan Season 4 has been out for a while now. I have so much catching up to do, and I'm so dumb that I didn't realize it was already out. Do I even call myself a true fan? Now to deconstruct it, which is actually really fun.
I just discovered by accident that you can also remove the food. This one has the most removable pieces. I'm not sure why every single piece of furniture was removable. The bed and the table were already flat, so that could have stayed, but it's really fun removing them actually, even though you can only place them in one spot. This looks super classy, very luxurious, almost like a designer bag. If I could describe this color, I would say it's between navy and black. It's definitely close to navy, but it has a little bit of a greenish undertone. It's really, really beautiful, and if I had a designer compact, this would be it. Next, we are in the UK. Lime green, that's a very interesting color choice for the UK. I would have actually used blue for this, but this looks really cute and fun. Green is my husband's favorite color, so he gets to be represented here a little bit. We are in London. It's definitely representative of London. We can see the signature phone booth, the double-decker bus, and how it looks to be a little bit rainy. We also have a haberdashery. Down here, we are on a sidewalk. It is rainy because over here, we can see some water right around this drain. We see Shooky for the first time. He's so cute. He reminds me so much of my Chihuahua Gizmo because he's small, brown, and has an attitude. Look at the attitude on Shoki. It's like he's yelling at someone. The top hat, very cute. Then we see Chimmy, who looks like he's running, and Koya, who is sleeping on the sidewalk in the rain. Clearly, he can sleep anywhere. Up here, we see the rest of the characters. Tata over there, buying a nice suit. Here is RJ, and does anyone here notice that he has Jin's laughing expression? If you're an ARMY, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Then Cookie over here, holding some heart balloons. Here is Van, and I'm not sure why he's to scale. I thought he was supposed to be a giant, but I think the concept with him is he kind of transforms. Then on the second level of the bus is Mong. Again, the artwork is beautiful. These windows, they're clear, like actual windows. That is such good detail. I love that. I love transparent pieces. And we can see the interior of the building. Some plants, bookshelves, the textures on the rest of this building. It just looks so beautiful. If I zoom in really close, it's like you're actually there. It doesn't look like a toy at all. We also get this little umbrella, and I think I'm going to give it to Chimmy over here. Now I'm going to give it to Shuki because he already has the top hat, and I think the umbrella would go really well with it. Okay, he is incredibly cute. I just love this and he holds the umbrella perfectly. How does that even work with a toy like this? Sorry, not a toy, a collector's item, artistry, beautiful work of art. I can assume that the phone booth comes out, pretty much everything on the lower level, and that's pretty much it. I swear every single shade of color that they have chosen for these compacts are so rich and beautiful. It just looks very classy, not tacky. They chose a nice forest green for this one. I mean, it really does look like a designer bag. Maybe I can keep my credit cards in here, use this as a wallet. And next we have France. I do like the baby blue. I think it works very well with France. It just feels very light, airy, a beautiful sunny day. We are having a picnic at the Eiffel Tower. This is such a relaxing and romantic setting. Here we have beautiful grass. I love the color of it because it looks so playful, very bright. This picnic blanket is not a sticker. That is a solid piece. One thing I noticed in all of these compacts, no stickers, no shortcuts here, just beautiful artwork and real pieces. Here we have RJ playing the guitar. I just love Shooky in this one. I love how he's tiny and he's standing on some speakers. He's also got a beanie, which Suga is known for wearing from time to time. And here we have Tata just enjoying the music, enjoying the fresh air. He's got a barrette because in France, it's mandatory. We have some picnic food here. We have a basket of baguettes, hot dogs, and I think this is a bottle of water. Are they sharing one bottle of water amongst the three of them? Then up here, we have the beautiful Eiffel Tower. It has a nice matted gold paint on it. We also see some very fluffy clouds and a beautiful sparkly rainbow. There's Koya flying away on a balloon. Here we have Cookie and Chimmy. And we have Mong right up there. And way in the back, we see Van. This is such a happy scenery. I love how they were able to include all the characters 
Without having to make each individual figure, they also gave them outfits that fit the country that they're representing. It just looks so serene and relaxing. I would love to have a picnic here. Deconstruction time. Weirdly enough, the food pieces don't come off. It is pretty random what they choose to come off and what's permanently stuck there. Again, I have to mention the picnic blanket because it's not a sticker and I'm so happy that it's not a sticker. This pattern seems to be painted on there. Here we can see that it is a solid piece. We can see the shadow. Just gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. I noticed that the color of the compact matches the color of the box, but the color of the compact is richer and more classy. Here's the color of the box on this one and if this matched this exactly, it wouldn't look as classy in my opinion. But the fact that they went for a more muted blue makes it look very luxurious. And our last one, can you guess what it is? It's Korea, hometown of BTS, birthplace of K-pop, one of my favorite music genres. I currently stan about nine groups right now. Speaking of which, I would love for more K-pop groups to collaborate with line friends and make more of these. I would love to see what characters other groups come up with and more compact toys for me. How happy does this look? Those water fountains are so beautiful. I love how they're just coming up off the ground. Again, I have to mention that I love see-through pieces because they just look really cool. I also have the urge to eat them. So be right back. I'm gonna go eat this one real quick. Here we have Shuki, Jimmy, and Cookie. They look adorable and amazing as usual. Up here we have a gorgeous temple with beautiful textures. We can see the rest of the characters through those arches. There's Koya, RJ, and Mong. And there's Tata back there. I love the soft muted colors on this one. This looks like a watercolor painting. Does anyone get that vibe? Now let's remove the pieces. Everything is removable. A beautiful mint color. This is one of my mom's favorite colors. Her favorite color is actually Tiffany blue, but I think she likes mint. Mom, confirm. Text me right now if you're watching this. And that was BT21, a collaboration between Line Friends and BTS. I'm going to give this an official rating just because this is a thing I like doing now. 10 out of 10. Absolutely. It's not a toy. It's a collector's item. The artwork, the artistry behind this, I'm just completely blown away. And normally when celebrities attach themselves to a collaboration, it feels very detached. Sometimes they just slap on their name and call it a day. But with this, the BTS members were highly involved right from the start. The professionals behind it as well, the artists, the marketers, even though you have to deconstruct the pieces to get everything to fit in the compact, when they're all laid out like this, they all pretty much fit and you can close the compact. I love the whole theme. I love the traveling theme, even though I myself don't like to travel. This is my way of traveling. I especially love the color choices for each of the suitcases. They look so luxurious, especially this one here and this forest green. They really do look like designer bags. By the way, four of these, not all of them, but four of them are currently on Amazon for only $20, which is certainly not what I paid for each of these. But if you want these, or if you want your favorite country, you can check it out on Amazon because they're only $20. It's a great chance for you to touch the characters, see how they feel in real life, and look at the gorgeous masterpiece inside. So yes, 10 out of 10 for me as a collector, if you collect Polly Pockets or other compact toys like I do, this is a must have. Even if you're not a fan of K-pop or BTS, just from a designer's standpoint, these are very high quality, very gorgeous. The characters are so unique and fun. Even if you don't know anything about BTS, it won't affect you that much. These are still gorgeous and a must have for any collector. I can't end this video without saying the word displayability. They display so very nicely. These are one of the purchases where I look back on and I have zero regrets whatsoever. I'm glad that I have these. So in terms of ranking my compact toys, number one, vintage Polly Pockets, of course. Number two, Twinkle Pact, which is my next showcase. Number three is actually tied with this and Shopkins. The reason why they're tied is I love the artistry of these compacts, but Shopkins 
makes more compacts and I'm all about volume as well. It has to be both quality and quantity for me. If other K-pop groups also collaborate with Line Friends or if Line Friends just comes out with other compacts in general, these will surpass Shopkins. The fact that there are only seven of these and they're tied with Shopkins for me is a huge deal. My question for you guys is, which K-pop group should Line Friends collaborate with next? It's so satisfying whenever I get to unbox any new compact toys that I can add to my collection. I have a bunch in this general area of my room that are still in boxes because I'm waiting to showcase them and they take up so much space. I am officially out of space and I'm telling myself that I'm gonna keep everything constrained in this room because the moment my toys leave this room and leak out to the rest of my house, I know I have a problem. Now the BT21 toys can join my other compact toys. Normally when celebrities collaborate with brands to create a product, they just kind of slap their name on there and call it a day. But with this, BTS was heavily involved. They documented the whole process. It even showed them sketching the characters and watching that come to life. It's amazing. This video is dedicated to fellow armies out there who are fans of BTS. Even though I'm a BTS fan, I don't know if I deserve to be called ARMY because I'm not really one to spend money on concerts and albums. The last album I ever bought was probably Britney Spears in the early 2000s. Regardless, I love their songs, I love their music, I love that they are really out there representing the Asian community and really changing the way people look at what music even is. Just because their songs are in Korean doesn't mean the rest of the world can't enjoy them. And the fact that the rest of the world is enjoying them is further proof that music knows no language barriers. You know, I would really love to see TWICE make their own line of compact toys because TWICE has a cute concept. I love their lollipop light stick. And I feel like if they made a toy line, it would be absolutely adorable. Please make a compact toy line. I would buy it. And there's nine members, so that's nine compacts to add to my collection. I love things in big volumes like that. Anyway, a girl can dream. Thank you guys for watching this toy collection showcase, and I'll see you next time.